All right, guys, it is Friday morning. It is time to put the engine back together. I'm getting excited, a little nervous, but mostly excited. Uh, we got the uh, got the manual printed out, all the torques, everything in there that we should need is going to be in there. It's 180 pages, and we'll probably use about five of them. But uh, either way, we got everything. If we run into problems, we got all the stuff right here. Uh, we got our parts, gaskets, piston rings, all this stuff. So, uh, first disclaimer is going to be, we are not professionals at this, okay? We're going to put this thing back together the best way we know how. We're going to see if it runs. I'm sure there's probably going to be some things that uh, people are going to see that are going to be like, oh, well, you should have done this, you should have done that. Please put that in the comments. We'd like to know for a future reference, but for now, uh, we're just going to put this thing back together the best way we can, and hopefully we get it running. Wish us luck. First thing we're doing is what? Piston rings. Putting the piston rings on. Okay. So that first one back here, you, you were telling me, is a three-part. Yeah, it's, it's a three-part ring. Two thin little... Tiny little rings, one on each side of this, makes a little sandwich. If I remember right, they call that one the scraper, don't they? Yeah, it's the old scraper. Hey, I learned something from a video. From a video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pistons, piston rings back on the piston. We're gonna put the piston back in the engine. And then uh, we'll, show you, we'll show you the next step after that. Let's see, this is where I'll talking about Usually you have a piston ring squeezer mm -hmm. and you install it on the piston and it squeezes these rings down and then you just slide the piston in like this. But we don't have a piston ring squeezer. We got five of them right here. Five finger squeezer. <laughs> Alright, so that piston's in. So what they did was they since we don't have a uh, squeezer, they uh, pushed them in and kind of just very lightly tapped on the on the uh, piston to get it to go in. All right, it's just scraping. All right, so this one, this this side is in. See it moving? Boop. Boop. Okay, so the piston comes in through here and hooks on to the crankshaft. Is that what this is? Yeah, crankshaft. It's just two bolts on either side. Not too bad. Easy Not too as that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's what I always say. All right. So we got that back together. Now what's next? We got to put our camshaft in and these teeth. We line up with these teeth, and it's got special markings. You can see this hole. It's massive. On this one though. Tiny little dimple, very top tooth here. Right there. Kind of see it? Yep. So you gotta line those two up and that's what the that's what the timing is. Yes, sir. Just line up just like that. Perfecto. So now we're, are we going to put this half on then? Yeah. We're put ready. the gasket on. Ready to put it together now. All right. So now it's time to put the heads back on. So we got this surface all nice and cleaned up. Nice and clean. Now what? We'll just start putting it together. Throw our gasket on here. There's a dowel pin here. The other one that's supposed to be right here is still in the head, so we'll just have to balance that. Push rods, slide right down in here. Line those up. Now for the fun part. So my head bolts are 19 foot pounds.
trying to get those lined up with the rockers, is that what you're doing? Yep. Because if you don't, then it's not going to do any good. Alright. So once you have these in position, got to kind of give it a little push. And now, everything lined up correctly. Okay, we'll snug these head bolts down and we'll rotate the engine assembly and see that our push rods and rockers and valve springs and valves are all working as desired. All right, so we got everything put back together. Everything's lined up, we're in time. We know we're in time. And here's how we're gonna tell if we're in time. You're gonna have opposite valves opening at the same time. So if this one's open, this one's open. If this one's open, this one's open. So as I turn this, we just put our, uh, I guess we call it the pulley bolt in to the crankshaft here. We're gonna turn it, and watch, make sure everything works accordingly. Play thickly on the other side. Oh yeah. So nothing's stuck. Everything's opening and closing. We're lined up. Now let's go back to this. And boom, our dots are lined back Still up. Lined up. Go. Easy so far, so good. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta tighten these down. Right, these are the ones that were 19 foot pounds we looked up. Right. And then we gotta make sure the uh, end caps on the pistons are. Go ahead. What was that? 89 inch pounds? 87. 87 inch pounds. So we'll convert that over to foot pounds. Put our great big old torque wrench in there and torque them down. So okay. it's. Let's see, five inch, I mean five foot, plus 12 is six feet. We're looking at about seven foot pounds, roughly. On these bad boys right here. Okay. So now we're gonna tighten these down to uh, the torque they're supposed to be at, and then we'll move on. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, if you guys remember this from the last video, that we put the uh, bolts in here in the pattern that they came off on the engine. So, right here, should be five of them. So that's the pattern that came off, that's the pattern we put them on. And we're gonna torque them down, and we'll be good to go. All right, so right now we're torquing it down those five bolts for the head are at 19 foot pounds. Super tight, you know. Super duper tight. Takes a lot of energy, you know, just get yeah. yeah, just like any other head, doing a star pattern. That way it sits flush. You don't have anything bound up. It's not super tight right here, and then you tighten it down up here, and you got an opening, you know. So I just start on this end, and I'll kind of like putting a tire on. Yeah, exactly like that. Get that. One. Two. Three. Four. The hardest part of this is keeping the engine still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're on there, we're tight, we're good to go. All right, so what's the next step? Honestly, the next step's uh, closing the engine Putting the other half up. on, putting the uh, mm -hmm. crankcase gasket on, filling her with some oil. Some oil. Getting her ready to go. Do you fill it, fill it with oil now or when you put it back on the? Probably once we get back on. I don't care, we don't have have we want to? It's our engine. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on this side and then just lay it down. Okay. Then we 
The difference is there's no dowel pins over here. That's fine. So there's the gasket. That'll keep your casket lined up. All right, so right now we got the heads tightened up. Now we're gonna put the uh, valve covers on. Yeah, we got the heads. Engine's closed back up again. Everything's torqued correctly. So we'll just do this right here. One of these. And these gaskets here we did not replace. I actually did these last year. They look really, really good still. So we're not replacing those. How fast my fingers move, you see that? You are, you're it's like a ninja. Technique. You're like a engine ninja. <laughs> called a couple things in my life, but an engine ninja ain't ever will them. So. so now we're actually pretty close to putting this thing back on the, uh, on the mower. Yeah, I think, uh, I think this is probably the easy part, right? Getting everything hooked back up is probably gonna be the more painstaking part. Tedious. Tedious part, so. Uh, I'll try to video as much as we can, but uh, we're actually, we're trying to get this thing put back together as quickly as possible, so. Uh, we'll <laughs> see. So, but yeah, we got those on. We need to tighten those down to torque, and we are good to go. Alright guys, so right now we are going to take the engine. It is assembled. Uh, the rest we can do while it's on the mower. So what we got to do, we got to line up what? That spline. This that right spline. here with this pulley right here. Okay. Hunter's going to try to do that while he sets that on there. Move all this stuff out of the way. Is that in the center of that hole? No, no nice. you're not even close. I think you might have to take the belts off. Nah. You're like right on the that's, edge of the hole. That's about all I can get for you with that belt on there. Well, I'll try to uh, pry it with the engine itself. All right, so we got the engine lined up and we're putting the bolts through here and here. Then we're gonna tighten it down. All right guys, so we put the oil filter, a new oil filter on. What's this thing called? Stator. Stator. Put a stator on, we put the uh, starter back on. All right, so we got the stator on here. And then we're gonna put the uh, flywheel on it. What's the stator do, Brian? The stator, I do not know. What's the stator do, Zach? All it does is produce electricity to run your coals so your spark plugs are getting sparked the whole time and you're not using battery power for it because your battery wouldn't last very long if you were using it. It's essentially the same thing as an alternator on a car, but for small engines they have stators. Gotcha. Like Presto. Bit. And how that goes on, there's a little groove right here. You just match that up with the groove that's on this. And it slides right on. Alright, so one thing we didn't do, we didn't put this little piece on here before we put the uh, stator and the flywheel on. So we're going to take that back off. Get that little shroud. Is that what you would call that? Yep. Just a little dust shield. Keeps a little dust shield. 
on there. So. Wow. Alright guys, so we are getting this thing back together. Or they are, I should say. I'm just kind of hanging back, letting them do their thing. Chilling like a villain. Chilling like a villain, because that's how I'm living. But, it's almost lunchtime. I ordered some pizza. Got some wings. Some pizza. Sauce, ranch, marinara. Who's hungry? I'm gonna eat it all. I'm hungry. You hungry? I am. Cause I don't know. Mm. All right, guys, we are getting close. Countdown has begun. Got the engine back on there, everything hooked up. Uh, Hunter is uh, tightening up the uh, engine bolts underneath. And we should be good to go. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We have one problem. It's running a little, a little rough right now. The spring back behind that panel that hooks to the governor arm. Uh, I'll show you when I get the new one. I ordered a new one, but I screwed up the other day and I got a little frustrated and I pulled that panel. And when I did, I forgot that spring was hooked up on it. And I, I elongated the uh, spring. So <clears throat> I think that's not making it, uh, making the uh, throttle adjust right so uh, I got one on order hopefully that's gonna fix it and uh, we'll be good to go but all in all she runs good sounds pretty good I think what do you think? I think it'll be good once we get that spring so uh, anyway we're gonna leave it at that uh, I think we're good to go I think the engines put back together good I think uh, everything is hooked up right except for that uh, spring that goes to the governor uh, I think that spring is all messed up and uh, I think once we get a new one because what's happening is when we when we start it up if we move that throttle up on our own it runs good but if we don't then it just it's just dying so uh, and I, we think that spring has a lot to do with that and uh, we're gonna wait for that to come in and that's gonna be uh, all she wrote for this engine rebuild.